Welcome to the warm-up, and thank you for tuning in. I'm your host, Ted Madden. Only a few weeks left before the playoffs. Let's get you warmed up. Private school action takes center stage this week as we have a couple of huge matchups. Let's preview them in the lineup presented by So Chill Chips and Salsa. They've been waiting a while for this rematch in TAPS 6A Division II. Concordia Lutheran lost by 11 to St. Thomas in early January, and round two is this Friday. St. Thomas is ranked third in the state, while the Crusaders are right behind them at four. Concordia Lutheran's roster is stacked full of rim protectors, headlined by Jesse Fuller, Donovan Holcomb, and Howie Keane. The three bigs can also knock down shots from deep, so they are a tough team to defend. St. Thomas may have the height to combat the Crusaders' big men. 6'8", Jake Pike has been a dominant front court player for the Eagles going on three years now. And he's really showing his prowess this year as St. Thomas is undefeated in taps play. This should be a tremendous rematch down at St. Thomas. In the SPC ranks, Houston Christian visits Bel Air Episcopal Friday night. Houston Christian has had an absolutely outstanding year as they entered the week at 24-4. Sophomore Montana Wheeler is getting better every day at the point guard position, and he's been able to get buckets whenever the Mustangs need them. Big man C.J. Barnes gives Houston Christian possibly the best inside-outside combination in all of SPC. The reigning state champ, Bel Air Episcopal, has taken their lumps this year, but are still a formidable foe. William Taylor and Cullen Witt are the experienced point scorers for the Knights, but junior Jaquiel Regist was vital for Episcopal's title run last year and is a star again this year. Should be a dynamite game Friday night. Warm up your game day with the authentic flavors of ancient cooking. So thin, so crisp, so good, so chill. In girls hoops, Houston Christian went undefeated last year and are tearing things up again this year. The Mustangs have a dominant post presence with senior Deja Thomas. We caught up with Georgia Tech commit on the recruiting trail. Hi, my name is Deasia Thomas. Um, I'm at Houston Christian High School, and I'm a post player here. Yeah. Family atmosphere. Uh, also, the education is very high. Um, I think education is most important when you're looking into a school because when the ball stops bouncing, you have to have a fallback plan on what you'll do next. Uh, I say a com very competitive, hardworking, and very uh, dedicated player is what Georgia Tech will be getting. Um, I, I think this season is going pretty, pretty good. Uh, we played some pretty tough games, and some of them we've won, some of them we've lost. But I think those are just lessons that we get to grow on. Um, but I think I'm enjoying this season because I know we have a chance to go back to back in the future for state. So, I, and I think we can do it. When I was about seven years old, um, I don't tell a lot of people this, but I wasn't, I wasn't good. I was the smallest on the team and like, Nobody would even let me get into the game. They, they would sit me on the bench, um, wasn't able to play a lot. And I just asked like, why, why can't I play? Um, but as I got older, I finally realized like, you gotta work for what you want in, in life. So I began to work and get um, better at my craft. And as I, I got older, fifth grade, I hit like a major growth spurt um, and I got better. And I started playing for an AU team and Cypher Elite in eighth grade helped me out a lot, and I was able to get offers from there, so. Just the, the outgoing person that I am, um, how much joy I brought to the school as a person, and um, also how I was off to, on the court, and how good of a player I was, and just the mark that I leave here at this school.
We can't get to all the big matchups this week, but we preview a couple more in the hype. Always big matchups in 17-6A, and this Friday we have Stratford going to Houston Memorial for their second meeting. In meeting number one, Memorial shut down the Spartan offense after intermission and allowed only eight points in the second half. Stratford hasn't let the loss derail them and are now in second place at 7-2, while Memorial is 6-3 in district play and tied for third. Everyone is chasing Cy Creek at 8-1, but if Stratford can avenge their two district losses, they can still take the title. Keanu Dawes and Tristan Williams have been the leaders for Stratford, and they have won the games they were supposed to win. Now they embark on a four-game stretch to determine whether they are playoff ready. Memorial has been playing some solid defense in district play, but an upset loss to Spring Woods last week is hanging over their heads. The Mustangs will need to try and sweep Stratford to pick up another big win and maintain their postseason spot. You want another big rematch? How about Iowa Colony and Stafford? Both are top 15 teams in the state in 4A and are ready for battle number two. In the first matchup, Stafford won 47-39 as they were difficult for the Pioneers to score on. This game is at Stafford, so it could be equally as difficult for Iowa Colony. Braden East and Glenn Bishop are the go-to guys for the Spartans. Iowa Colony led the first meeting 22-9 before succumbing to the Spartans' tenacious defense. Look for another hard-fought game. Last week, our defensive title belt went to Manville. Let's see how they did it and who might have a chance to win the belt this week. Manville may have started slow, but they are clicking on all cylinders now. RJ Hurd and Jamari McDowell helped shut down Texas City as the Mavericks came away with the 45-41 victory. They are looking like a tough team to beat when the postseason comes around. This week, Conroe will need to come through on defense if they hope to break through to the top of 13-6A. It's been a tough road for the Tigers, but if they can get through this week with a couple of Ws, they have a realistic shot at possibly a share of the district title. That's going to do it for today's show. For even more high school basketball content, be sure to follow us on our social media accounts, including Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I'm Ted Madden, and I hope we got you warmed up for all the action.